YouTube, welcome back to a brand new video on this channel, and today I want to show you guys how to make a logo like Anime Fighters, a very popular game. Um, so as you guys can see, this logo is very, it's pretty simple, but it is um, very clean. So the top text is a purple gradient and uh, yellow with a nice outline. So I'm going to show you guys how you can make a logo like this for your own game before this video begins. If you guys can do me a favor and drop a like, let's try to hit 50 likes on this video. I will do more content just like this one. If you don't have Photoshop, you can use Photopea. So go to photopea.com. I will leave a link down below. And you guys can also follow along. It's basically like a, it's almost a free version of Photoshop. Obviously there are less tools, but you should still be able to follow along with this uh, video. So let's get right into it. Um, first things first, I like to click on the background and click on the foreground color. I like to choose a dark gray. Um, this is how I like to start off. Uh, now you want to hit Alt Backspace. This will fill your canvas. Um, I like working with a darker background, so it, it just makes the uh, gradients easier to work with. Anyways, now let's type out text. So hit T on your keyboard or just go to your text tool right here. And we're just going to click. Uh, you want to increase the size. Um, this the size depends on your canvas size, right? And let me show you guys. My canvas size in pixels is 3000 by 1950, as you can see. So here, choose the font you want to use. Um, if you really want to get a look close to the anime fighters, you're going to want to choose a similar font. So, all right, so the font of my choice is called Kaiju Monster. Um, it is not exactly the same, but I think for this video it works well enough. So I'm gonna say about anime. Um, if you hit Control T on your keyboard, uh, you can use Free Transform to adjust your text. So I'm gonna do mine like that. Um, as you can see, let's just move this aside. So you can see it's a bit tilted. So if you hit Control T. Go right click and you hit skew right here. We can move this like that. Now, as you can see, we have some, uh, we have this right here. All right, next, uh, copy your text. So hit control J on your keyboard. Let's make a copy. All right, we're going to move this down and let's, now let's type fighters. And uh, they have their text. The G is on the end like this. That should be good. All right, so with our text, let's move this to the middle. We're gonna hit Control G to group this uh, up. We're gonna hit Control J to copy, and we're gonna hide the uh, previous group. So, so uh, we're just gonna work with this one here. Um, if you can see the text, how the top and bottom are straight. Um, since my font is different, I just want to try this. So if you right click and go to rasterize type. Now this may or may not work out, but you can use this tool, rectangular marquee tool. And if you just drag out, right? And then you hit delete on your keyboard. Eh, it's actually not bad. I think we could uh, work with this. It might be a little bit weird, but I think it could work. So do the same thing for anime. Here, shaving this bit off. All right, there we go. I like that, that's nice. All right, now let's make the actual gradient. Um, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna right click on any one of uh, the text, go into blending options right here. We're gonna hit gradient overlay and make sure your mode is normal. Opacity is at 100, angle is at 90. I have the scale set to 100 should work. So click on the box. And now right here, um, you can select a gradient of your choice. So now you can add inner shadow, right? Mode is normal. Um, let's go color all the way white. Change the angle now to 117. Move the distance. Actually, adjust the angle. Now you can see we have this effect. There we go. Now we're just going to hit OK. 
we're going to right click this layer and just hit copy layer style. We're going to right click on fighters and we're going to hit paste layer style. Now right click on the fighters, let's go into blending options again, let's go into gradient overlay and from here I'm just going to select the gradient colors. Obviously if you're making your own game logo, don't copy their logo. <laughs> um, this is just an example to show you the techniques that you would use to make this logo. Alright so once we're good with that, um, let's hide these. Okay. We're gonna take this group, we're gonna hit Control J once more, and now we're gonna hit Control E. Okay, we're gonna hide this one, so now we only have one flat layer. We're gonna make a new layer, drag this below, click back on the text, we're going to hold Control, we're gonna click on the icon, all right, this part. Click on that, go to Select, Modify and Expand, let's try 30. Click on the bottom layer we made and make sure your color. Let's go for a dark gray. Okay. Now hit Alt Backspace twice and hit Control D on your keyboard to um, deselect like this. So now you see we have this. Um, you can see we have some gaps here and we get a fill, and that is actually pretty easy to do. All you gotta do is make a new layer. In between, use your right single tool. Your fill will be on, uh, same color. Your stroke, your stroke is off. So click this box, click this box right here, and uh, and uh, make sure your mode is on shape. So now with this, let's drag, and that is pretty much it. Let's drag across, and as you can see, that right there is pretty much it. Um, now to make this look even nicer, with this group, copy it again, Control J, and hide this one. Obviously, we're gonna right click and convert to Smart Objects. Right click, go into Blending Options. Inside here, you're gonna want to hit Gradient Overlay. Um, go black to white and change the mode to Overlay or Soft Light could also work. And uh, yeah, that is pretty much it um, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video like I said in the beginning let's try to get this to 50 likes um, yeah I appreciate all you guys for watching uh, if you stayed all the way to the end if you are following this video make sure to tweet us just add us at GFX comment and we will retweet your work on Twitter so that is all for today hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video Peace.